tell you guys this is not like where the beginning of the video begins but we're gonna backtrack a little bit because I just realized I haven't spoke to you guys about the organizations I'm working with this Ramadan and I want this to be in the beginning of the video so I hope this doesn't confuse you guys but the next clip is not gonna be this scene it's gonna be when I first started vlogging um, I just really wanted to include it at the beginning so I wanted to talk to you guys about two organizations I'm working with this Ramadan every Ramadan I pick one to two reputable organizations that I work with to help raise money for those in need and Ramadan is just such an amazing time to do that and to give back and to really sit back and appreciate everything that we have and everything that we are so fortunate and blessed with so the first one I want to talk to you guys about is with human appeal and I'm working with them on their Syria campaign so I'm raising money to help raise funds for their NICU so your money is going to be going towards helping newborn babies in the NICU they're in need of a lot of like medical equipment NICU equipment like medicine like things like that to help care for their NICU babies these are newborn babies and most of them have been displaced from their homes they're also going to be raising money to help mamas and babies that have been displaced from their homes so there's so many people that have been displaced in Syria unfortunately with the ongoing war that's been going on for over a decade now there's over 13 million Syrians that have been displaced from their homes and over 6.5 7 million orphans which just really breaks my heart they are really in need of our help so please donate whatever you can i'm going to put the links down below a little as a dollar will help and may god bless you may a low reward you for helping those that are in need and just keep this organization in mind if you want to save it until the last 10 days i'll be putting it in my description box every video the next one i wanted to talk to you guys about is with human concern i'm partnering with them on their gaza campaign as we all know unfortunately things have not gone any better in gaza and our brothers and sisters are really suffering millions of palestinians have been displaced from their homes over 800,000 palestinians are starving to death and over 30,000 children are now orphaned especially this ramadan i just can't imagine not being able to have any water or food to break our fast with we are so fortunate and blessed i mean fasting is hard enough as it is but imagine not even having a meal at the end of the day to break our fast with so your donations will be going towards helping them fill their aid trucks with food with water with medical supplies with shelter this is one way i'm hoping we'll help them is to help raise money so donate as little or as much as you can anything will help and please just keep all our brothers and sisters around the world who are suffering um this ramadan and year round um and may, may god bless you all thank you guys so much for your donations or even just your prayers i'll put those links down below make sure to check them out thank you guys for listening to that part um i'm gonna cut scene to the next scene now hello you guys welcome back to my channel and another vlog this is ramadan week two if you missed my ramadan week one make sure to go watch it but i'm actually on my fasting break right now because it's my time of the month and i'm actually kind of sad about it because like i fasted a whole week and my body got used to it i got used to it i was feeling really good and then boom it hit me and i was like dang like it just sucks because it's like a setback I feel like and now after I'm done I have to go back I have to do you know of course two more weeks of fasting so it's just gonna be like starting all over again and it's just hard honestly it's hard on a woman and I really don't count it as a break because the time of the month sucks for me it's so painful and I just hate it so so I would much rather be fasting right now but I just got dressed and ready I have to go get groceries because I'm gonna be making a facade today I'm gonna be making dinner we're having my mom over again and this week was the first week back to school last week Maddox was off all week so it was really really hard but this week it's like I'm not fasting and he went back to school so it's like of course that had to happen but I'm gonna go get groceries I'm gonna be making like a creamy Tuscan chicken. I've made it before. It's so good. It's kind of like the marry me chicken a little bit, but I did not like the sun dried tomatoes. So I'm going to be doing cherry tomatoes and I'm also going to be adding spinach in it and it's going to be so good. I'm pairing it with a pasta and then I'm also going to do lentil soup on the side. I mean, come get groceries with me and then we'll go get mad together, come back home, and I can, I can prep dinner. Okay, I kind of have to hurry because I'm going to be late to pick up Maddox. I always feel like I'm going to be late and then I'm never late but I just don't like having that feeling like I might be late. So we gotta hurry. This little bag is just so handy. I just like throw it on and I'm gone. So good, I'll link it down below. And then do I have everything else? I do, let's go. These sound so good to go with dinner. You just put them in the oven and bake them heat them up so good okay you guys i got the goods and now let's go check out and go pick up malik
Okay, I'm like actually really annoyed right now because so I noticed like this guy was fall not following me But I noticed this guy while I was getting groceries like everywhere I'd look he was just kind of right there But I was like, okay, maybe just a coincidence and he didn't have anything in his hands Like he wasn't like shopping. It wasn't like he had a car or anything. He was just kind of just there so I was like whatever it's probably just in my head because a lot of the times I I'm just really really aware of my surroundings which is a good thing I know but sometimes I tend to like um, overthink things I guess you could say so I just kind of like shrugged it off and I was like whatever um, I went and saw Mustafa because he's at work so I just like said hi to him and then I left I didn't even say anything to him because I was like it was just in my head like because I didn't see him anymore so I was like whatever like it's fine and then I walked to my car okay I'm walking I'm putting the groceries which I recorded I filmed for you guys I went to close the trunk and I turned around and he's literally right there like just staring at me and at this point, I got my phone in front of him. I'm staring at him. I like calm stuff and I'm just staring at the guy. And he starts walking towards me. I said, do not, and I literally said, do not come any closer to me. He said, I was just, I was just coming to say hi. I said, no, don't say hi. And he was like, okay, sorry. And then he turned around and walked away. And I literally was like, what the actual just happened? Like, this is why, like, I know sometimes I can like maybe make up a situation or something, but this time I trusted my guts, but Look, it literally, I was right. He was literally following me. And I say this, I'm telling you guys this because you guys need to be aware of your surroundings. Nowadays, people are crazy. I don't trust anyone. I do not trust anyone. If you feel like something is wrong, then trust your gut and stand your ground. I think these guys think that us women were like too scared to say anything. But anytime that this has happened to me, I like make sure to stare at them, like make eye contact with them just to let them know that you see them. And I literally, We'll tell we'll say things to them like today. I told him don't come any closer Just be careful you guys. I mean and don't trust anyone do not trust anyone No one can be trusted nowadays. I swear to God. Okay. I got mad again since I'm on my little break for the month I have to pick up some coffee. I Came to pick up some coffee at Dutch Bros um, I'm gonna get like their salted caramel one. It's really good I don't know if they still have it, but I don't know if it was like a limited time thing or what but We're gonna try to order it Yes, the line is like super long. I guess because it's like it's when like school lets out. It's 3:45, so it's just like a lot of traffic. Oh. I forgot to record the whole, whole thing, but it's called the salted caramel um, latte. I got it iced. It's supposed to come with like protein milk, but I just got regular milk. And then I got Malik a chocolate milk. Now I'm gonna give it to you, Malik. Just hang on one second. No, no ice cream, but I got you chocolate milk. Ice cream. Here. Ice cream. Okay, here. Okay, so since it's like my first day not fasting, since Ramadan started, I keep having to like, be like, wait, you can't take a sip of that. You're fasting. And then I'm like, no, I'm not fasting. <laughs> so funny. Wow, oh, this is so good. Okay, I have my chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and season them. I like using chicken tenders. And I also have a pot on my stove. It's, uh, I have water in it boiling, or I'm waiting for it to boil, so I can add my pasta in there and get those cooked. Does anyone hate like actually touching the chicken with their hands? Because I do. So for seasonings, I'm gonna do salt, pepper, and then I'm gonna use oregano. And I swear the oregano gives chicken like such a good flavor. Paprika, it gives it a really good color. <laughs> and then garlic powder. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over and season the same exact way. And this is the proper way to season chicken, I swear. I have to like season my chicken like a lot or else I feel like it's so bland. Next thing, my water is boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and add my pasta. I'm just gonna be using penne pasta. Chicken is whatever you want. Pasta is all done, which means I get a free facial. Love getting a free facial. Now it's time to cook the chicken. Add some olive oil to my pot and my chicken. Let's see if we can fit these all on the same skillet. Okay, so let them cook on each side and then flip it over. through on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. 
I'm gonna cover them up and finish the rest of the recipe and then we can add them back in. Go ahead and add my heavy cream to it. Pour it. And my Parmesan cheese. Yum. And then try like scraping the bottom, getting those bits off the bottom. Okay, I literally missed an entire step. I forgot to add my cherry tomatoes and my spinach. So let me retract. I'm just gonna go ahead and add them to my heavy whipping cream. It'll be fine. We're just gonna go ahead and add them and act like I didn't just do that. I'm gonna add some minced garlic, one half stick up butter. You can season this however you like. I just like to do a little bit of salt and pepper and paprika and oregano. I waited till my tomatoes cooked a little bit and they like got a little bit soft. And now I'm gonna add my spinach. Add a good amount just because I feel like spinach like disappears. I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken back in. I'm not gonna add all of them though because I just feel like I made too much. So we can just keep some of them in the fridge and I can make like easy lunches with them this week or something. Okay, you guys, tell me if this doesn't look absolutely delicious. <gasps> okay, this is what should be called marry me chicken. This should be called marry me chicken. I've made it several times before, but I was like, let me try out the other one, the other recipe. I filmed it in one of my other vlogs. It was good. I just don't like sun-dried tomatoes, and then this just tastes way better. Mmm, so creamy and delicious. Okay, this is all done. I'm just gonna put it to the side, and I'm gonna work on my lentil soup. I love Malik so much because he always lets me cook in peace. He's so good. He just plays by himself. I love you. I love you so much. You're my best friend. Did you know that you are my best friend? Yeah. <gasps> this is here! Oh my god, I can't believe I got that on camera. His favorite, literally his favorite person in the entire world. Let's open it up. I see you. Oh, you look cute. That's cute. Okay, this is my little cutting board for decor that I put over here. But I had just used my other cutting board for the chicken and I didn't feel like cleaning it. So I was like, wait, am I allowed to use this or is this just for decor? Like, obviously I can use it. It's a freaking cutting board. I just laughed at myself that I even thought that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the lentil soup. So I'm gonna go ahead, I just put olive oil and I'm gonna do my onions. Cook my onions. I totally meant to grab cilantro for my lentil soup and I forgot it, but cilantro lentil soup just really takes it to the next level. It makes it taste so yummy, but it's okay. Next time. I'm going to do one cup of red lentils and four cups of water. Seasonings are easy. Just salt, pepper, and cumin. Okay, after it comes to a boil, drop the temp down to low and then cover it and just cook it until it until it cooks all the way through. About 15 minutes or so. Malik approves. Is it yummy? Yeah. Yeah? Alhamdulillah. I'm glad you like it, mama. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set the table and I'm gonna make it look really pretty. So let's set the table together. I have everything linked, like all the decor pieces and everything. If you click the link in my bio, I have like everything listed out if you wanna shop all the pieces. have a gold silverware to match my gold accents. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my little lanterns on. Okay, I have these like beautiful napkins that were sent over to me and they have like Palestinian filtries on them, which is so beautiful. And then they also sent me these little napkin holders, it says Ramadan Karim on them. Let's go ahead and fold these up and put them on each plate. I think it's gonna look so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it in half, kind of into like a triangle, and then take each piece and fold it in. I'm not the best at this, but I found this to be pretty. Kind of folded it over again. I don't really, I'm not really the best at explaining. My little napkin holder, and we're gonna put that on, bring it down. I think that looks pretty. I'm gonna place each napkin kind of on top of the soup bowl, kind of like that. I think that looks so pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and place each one on the bowl, kind of the same way. 
Okay, the table is all set. I just need to light the candles, but I'm gonna wait a little bit because we still have, I think, an hour until the thaw time. So I'll wait to light the candles like right before we eat so it, they won't like drip wax everywhere. Last thing I am gonna add is my little dates, of course. So we can break our fast on dates first. Okay, the soup is all done and it looks so delicious. There's just one thing I like to do at the end, which you don't really even have to do, but I like to add some safflower, just like a little bit on top. Just gives it like a nice color and a good taste to it. There's like eight minutes left. So I'm gonna go ahead and start plating, especially the soup. So this will be ready for everyone to eat first thing. I have to have soup each day in Ramadan. Just feel like it's a must. Doesn't matter what soup it is, but a soup is a must. And then I'm gonna squeeze some lemon juice in there. I'm gonna go ahead and light the candles. The mood is set. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start plating. And then I'm gonna add a little garlic knot that I baked in the oven. Yummy. This looks like the perfect iftar meal. It looks so good. Okay, everyone come eat. You look like. That's Hello you got. Hello you guys. It is the next day now and I already got dressed for the day. I'm wearing this Abaya from Veiled Collections actually from last year and I do have a discount code with them um, that I can put here for you guys but it's only on like full price items so only items that are not on sale. If they're on sale then it doesn't apply to them but it's really cute. They have a lot of new stuff this year as well but most of us off today we're about to go pick up Malik from school and then we're gonna come home and i'm gonna make chocolate chip cookies because we're invited to my sister's house today for iftad and um i want to bring something with me and these cookies are like my favorite cookies to make during ramadan but also just all year round they are so good they're so fluffy and i love like thick chocolate chip cookies like this and i'm gonna add pecans in them and they're gonna be so good so i will show you guys how i make them in case you guys want to make them for your families as well but that's the plan for today Okay, so we are gonna be starting on our chocolate chip cookies. We went ahead and added some butter. So we're doing two sticks of butter at room temp. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our sugars and my little helper is gonna help me mix it all up. Are you gonna help me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, one half cup of brown sugar. You can add it, go. Good job. Wait, wait, wait. I, I said, okay. And then one half cup of white sugar, that's okay. You didn't wait for me, but that's fine. Okay, we're gonna just mix them until they're nice and fluffy. Good enough. Now we can add our eggs, okay? I like the eggs. Did you like that, doing that one? Yeah. Was that fun? Yeah, that's fun. Okay, come back over here. <laughs> My eggs. Yeah, okay. Wait, you have to wait for mommy, okay? How does he know how to do that? I don't know. Okay, ready? <gasps> no! No! <gasps> Go ahead and add your two eggs now. We're gonna mix them really good. Ready? Chip. Don't eat all of them. We need some. Okay. One, two. Ready? Come on. Three. This boy, how many chocolate chips has he eaten? How many chocolate chips have you eaten? And four. What are you eating? What you eating? 
Huh? It's the chocolate. In chocolate? Yeah. Okay, can you like scoot back a bit? Why, yeah. why are we so close? Why are we so close? Hang on. You're okay. I'm gonna let you help. No, no, no more chocolate chips. No. Okay, help mommy put this one. This is one teaspoon salt. <laughs> One, two, three, and then one teaspoon baking powder. <laughs> we have to mix it. Look at this. You have to mix this. Okay. You want it to be like crummy like that. So that's good. Okay, now we're going to add our chocolate chips. We're also going to add, no, this is not cheese. This is pecan. One, two. Ooh, that looks yummy. I just want to mix this with your hands. No, no, no. We don't need that. Because you don't want to mix it too much. No, we're going to roll them into balls. Are you ready? Put them on here. Good job. Put right next to it. There you go. Good job. Mmm, these look good. Yeah, this is good. Did Malik make these? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Good job. Put them right next to it. Mm -hmm. No, you cannot take them off and eat them. Okay, I just popped them in the oven, preheated to 375, and I'm going to let them bake for about 15 to 18 minutes, just until they're like cooked in golden brown. Okay, I just took them out of the oven. Look how delicious they look. You just want to bake them until they're like a golden brown on the outside, just like this. Oh my God, they look so good. Okay, are you ready to try it? Yeah. Okay, but don't touch it because it's very hot. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can sit down. Oh, let's try one. Okay, but don't touch it. It's very hot. Which one should we choose? Let's try this one. These are the type of cookies that are like super fluffy. They're not like your traditional cookies. Super thick and so yummy. Here, open your mouth. <laughs> open your mouth. Hot. It's so hot. I told you. So good. Yum. Take a bite. Take a bite. Are they yummy? Mm. So yummy. You guys have to let me know if you try this recipe out down below. Mm. Hot. Mm, yum. <laughs> I got the goods. I got the cookies. We're getting in the car. We're going to go to my sister's house and eat. Even though I'm not fasting today, I, I have I not want. been eating. Like I do not eat. I just like, I forget want. to eat. My body got like so used I to want. fasting. My leg. My body got so used to I fasting want. that I just like don't. I'm not hungry, and then I just wait to break my fast with everyone else. So that's what's been happening lately. Are you serious right now? You guys, we are <laughs> on our way. Okay, to go break our fast, and I'm just driving. And Mustafa says, "Wait, Mara, we have to go back home." I'm like, "Why?" He's like, "Cause I don't have any shoes on." If you remember last Ramadan, he did the same exact thing. We went to Tori Cheese to go break our fast last Ramadan. And it was like right before I thought, okay, we didn't have any time left and we were starving. We get to Tori Cheese, he's like, I don't have any shoes on. It's literally repeating last Ramadan. I can't believe we did this again. So, and last Ramadan, I was like, no, we're not going back home. I'm sorry. So we sat outside and he, we ate with someone not having any shoes on. God, I, I gotta show them the proof. I gotta show them the proof. These ears are free. We ain't got no shoes on. At least we're close to home. We're gonna go back home and get his shoes. Welcome, Sayyid. We got Kippe Naya here. Welcome, Sayyid. And then they made chicken, corn, and potatoes. We got the bule. Yeah. Okay, Maya, you're gonna have to let us know how my chocolate chip cookies taste. Do you like them? These are really good. Look how fluffy they are. Yeah. <gasps> They're so good. I think she's lying. 
Mustafa? <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. You forgot your shoes today. So <laughs> you can't talk. I always forget to like film myself eating, but the food was really, really good. <laughs> because I film myself eating on TikTok and then I forget to film for you guys. But we're gonna enjoy some coffee, some tea, and some desserts. <laughs> look at all this dessert. This, this is what I look forward to ever Ramadan. This right here. Mama, hello, this one. Asafiri, mu? I knew it. Asafiri. My chocolate chip cookies. And then they made a thayif, which is like stuffed with hadolos, hadolfion los. Shows? No, no ushta? No, that's shows. This one is filled with nuts. It's walnut. Sometimes they fill it with like a cream type of cheese filling, but she didn't today. And then these. Oh my god, these. Look how good this looks. And then you like pour a syrup on top. It's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Don't drop it. No. Try not to. Okay, you guys, today is day 11 Ramadan, and I just came to my mom's house. I'm gonna kind of help her prep the iftar. She is like making us the most amazing food. Yesterday, she made a skibbe, but I didn't vlog it, but it was like so amazing. Um, make sure to check out our cooking videos if you haven't checked those out. We have four episodes now, we're gonna do one more. If you have any idea of what you want us to cook next, let me know in the comments down below. You guys, it's raining, and she has the window open, and the vibes are just amazing. I love the rain so much. Today is so cloudy, so rainy, and it's so cold. It's so weird, because it's been so hot lately. But okay, I'm here for it. Okay, so we're making, what is it called? Harire Maghribiyah. Harire Maghribiyah, mm -hmm. but without meat. So it's a soup, and there's celery in it. What else? Onions. Onions. Tomato. I'll show you guys. Mm, sounds good. Just gonna add our celery to my onions. They're making sliha, which is basically like dough with meat mixture on top. Look how incredible that looks. Mm. This is what they look like before they go in the oven. And then she also rolled up some grape leaves or what a inab is what we call it in Arabic. These are my favorite. They're so good. So I'm making manaish, and I need to learn all these recipes because they look so good. Yum. <laughs> oh my god. Mama drop We're building magnet tiles. Mama! Oh magnet tiles. Okay, do it. Put the magnet tiles. Wow. Grape leaves are all done, yeah. yummy. There's still 10 minutes left and everyone's like counting down the minutes because today's going by really slow for some reason. <laughs> I like to about that. You know, this is <laughs> Food looks so good. And I always wait for one minute session. We are finishing the night with some Syrian hurat. It's basically like an herb and a floral tea. We also put some mint in it. It's so good. I'm just waiting for it to boil so I can pour it. It's the first thing this dish called a tayyip, and it's very good. What do you think, Mustafa? <laughs> <laughs> Mustafa, what do you think? Oh my god, and today he left his shoes at home. Like, what do you have to say, Mustafa? Give me my camera. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> what do you have to say, Mustafa? For leaving your shoes at home. No, Maya. This is my son Malik. He's very cute. Ola. And this is my son Malik. 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 Malik.